Let's start with the question. How exactly does targeting work during the fight phases? The card minigame used to resolve encounters in Thea is a bit confusing at first. At least partially due to the lack of clear instructions. I've got a pretty good grasp of it at this point. And the fight phase usually goes about as I expect. But sometimes I'm left wondering why one card attacked the card it did. I don't have the exact wording from the tutorial on hand. But it said approximately each card will attack the closest card on the right or left. That leaves a lot of questions. Is it deterministic or random? Is it circular, I, E? Does it wrap around from each end? What's the tiebreaker if two cards are equal distance? Does it prefer right and only choose left if there's no right, or vice versa? So, what's the targeting algorithm during the fight phase? Are there any random elements? And how do they work? So how can we solve this? There's one possible answer. Answer 1. I checked the fandom wiki page on the card game, but it wasn't very helpful. All it says is this. During two combat phases cards attack each other from left to right which is either vague or inaccurate. Depending on how you interpret it. I then found this discussion on the Steam community forums. It includes some incomplete statements from a developer. Card attacks either closest enemy on right or closest enemy on left. Giving 50% chance each. It does not compare which of those two is closer. And we take closest enemy on right and closest enemy on left. If there is only one choice is simple. If we get that way two cards it will choose someone by coin toss. After this is a much better description from a user. It's referring to a setup described in a previous post as E1 F1 F2 F3 E2 where E1 and E2 are enemy cards and F1 F3 are friendly cards. E1 will always attack F1, then F2 if it has a bashing weapon and kills F1. E2 will always attack F3, then F2. F1, F2, and F3 each have a 50-50 chance for which of the enemies they will attack. It randomly picks either right or left. Then goes down the line in that direction and attacks the first enemy it finds. The statement that E1 will always attack F1 implies that there is no wrapping around the edges. After reading over this information. I've played the game for dozens of hours. Experimenting in the card game and paying close attention to the results. This last description appears to be accurate. So. Here is the algorithm. Targeting algorithm for each card played. And not confused in this phase. In order from left to right. If there are no opposing. Cards. The fight is over. If there is not an opposing card to the left, attack to the right. Otherwise, if there is not an opposing card to the right, attack to the left. Otherwise, if there are opposing cards on both sides, pick left or right at random. Moving away from the attacking card in the chosen direction. Choose the first opposing card encountered. Attack that card. If it is defeated. And the attacking card has excess blunt damage. Then repeat steps 2 and 3 once with the remaining damage. I hope this answer helped, and if it did, please drop a comment and subscribe.